Well, 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 good afternoon, West Ham fans. Let's uh, take some time away from the first team's troubles to talk about the academy, shall we? Yes, everybody, Russ on the West End Network, as I said, hope you are all safe and well. Um, for anyone new around here, welcome. Where have you been? Look at the season <laughs> over. But anyway, thanks for joining us. Um, what we do every Monday is we take some time away from the first team to concentrate just on the academy um, because it's a massive part of what West Ham do and of our heritage and of our makeup, our ethos. So we take some time away just to look at the academy Um we talk into all three parts. One is whether there's been any news, contract news, things like that that have affected the academy this week. Then we talk about the players, the academy players out on loan. We talk about the first team loan players in Hammers Headlines. So go back and check that out. And then we talk cover any games that have been featured with the academy in the last sort of week or so. Now, news. No news so far. Um, obviously, we're coming to a period now where we're starting to look at the contracts going forward and so you'll be seeing probably the next uh, week two weeks um players being released or players being told they're being released um players who've been offered new contracts we've seen the likes of junior robinson often new two and a half year deal we know callum marshall has been off has signed a new deal um we know we've signed um ezra mayes to a longer to a first professional career um contract um same as josh briggs so you'll see more and more of that coming through. And as, as and when we'll collate um, sort of the release list and things like that. Um, we know elsewhere that you know, players are being told they're releasing. So obviously um, Kenny Brown's uh, son, Lewis, he's not going to be off a new deal at Arsenal. So he's been sort of training and trialling at West Ham um, for the under 18. So you're seeing a lot of that. You know, we've had a few players who have gone, been sort of in trial games, so to speak, at QPR. Um, and so there'll be a lot more of that happening in the next few weeks, that's for sure. Particularly as the regular season starting to come to an end in terms of the academies. Um, but in terms of, we've had not, not, uh, a mixed bag for our loans, loanees this week, in all honesty. Let's start with some positive news, uh, and let's start with Wickham. So obviously we've got Freddie Potts and Gideon Kadoa both on loan at Wickham. Both started, possibly for the second time ever. I think this season um, in their three, one away win to Carlisle United, both um, started the game and both were substituted at the 58th minute uh, with Freddie getting a booking, not because of the substitution, but during the game anyway. So again, some great, you know, another, another hour under his belt for Freddie and for Gideon as well. He hasn't had loads of uh, game time to be honest, since being there. Uh, but injuries hampered him, really. Dan Chester's no place in the squad for Dan Chester's uh, at all, uh, which is a bit unusual. I don't know whether he's picked up an injury. Um, not too sure. I was trying to find out, but uh, nothing back Jester yet. Salford lost 1-0 away to Newport, Newport County. Uh, Dan's been playing quite a lot. Been playing right back, right wing back, right wing as well. So all that down that right-hand side. So for him not to feature, suggests to me there might be an injury there or... or levels of fitness or something like that coming to the end of the season. Elsewhere, uh, Kean Force, another 90 minutes under the belt for the for the little man, um, as Dagenham Redbridge had quite an eventful um, game at home to Aldershot. Um, Daggers thought they'd won the game 3-2 with a 92nd, 93rd minute winner, they thought. But then Aldershot equalised in the 97th minute. Kean played the full 90 minutes, started on the, on the left, playing left wing. Um, as uh, he tends to play in the front too, but he was dropped to the left wing um, for the weekend, which uh, had um, many of the E13 um, events people and um, Tracy Lee Tombides from uh, DT38 and Cotton Cole to promote the game that's happening in a few weeks' time there. Uh, West Ham Legends versus Dagenham Redbridge Legends. Check out uh, the link on Ian's E13 or DT38's page for tickets for that. It's going to be a great day. Um, elsewhere, uh, Christian Heggie played the full 90 as uh, his side, Den Bosch, drew 2 2 at home to NAC in the Dutch second um, division. 
Um, and that was it, really, in terms of the loans. Obviously, there wasn't much. So, you know, we obviously we've got Callum back here, who is on technically on loan at West Brom, but not on loan at West Brom. He can play the under twenty one games here, but he can't play first team football. He's still technically. Um, associated with West Brom on the first team randomly. It's very complicated, um, but that's it. Uh, elsewhere, um, the under-21s didn't play. They play on Friday, um, the last game of the season against uh, last home. Is it the last home game or just the last game? I think it's the last... It's the last fixture um, of the of the regular PL2 season. Leicester City at home, 7 o'clock kickoff um, on Friday. Get yourself down there. I'll be on the old ones and twos. But it's the last regular game. And then it goes into this sort of knockout stage type thing, um, which I'll explain to you later on. It's very confusing. But um, I don't know why, why, they bug, why they bug about with the leagues and stuff, but they do. So, um, yeah, Leicester. They've had a bit of a run of it. They played. They played Norwich. Obviously, uh, they won two 0 away at Norwich a couple of weeks ago. Or was it last last weekend? Um, and they've had sort of a, a two week gap, which probably probably needed to be honest, because we were looking a little, a little bit short, a little bit short with a lot of the eighteens being pushed up into the twenty ones for that game against Norwich to the detriment of the eighteens, because a lot of the sixteens got pushed up and they lost eight one, didn't they, um, to Arsenal at uh, home? But they got back to winning ways. They got back to winning ways at the weekend with a a thumping 3-0 win against Leicester City um, in uh, the King Power Performance Centre. Um, back to returning ways after, obviously, the <clears throat> frustration of the 8-1 defeat at, uh, at Arsenal. Um, they scored quite a bizarre own goal, to be honest, uh, which give, gave, the, gave us the lead back a couple of minutes before half-time. Uh, and then... A fantastic um, goal by Aisha, Aisha Shawamni, um, to double the lead just a minute later. And then with about 20, 15, 20 minutes late in the game, Josh Ajala netted uh, from close range to see a very, very important win for the Hammers. Um, it's it's getting, uh, it's getting sort of close at the top of that league, to be honest. Um, and it was important to get back to winning ways. I just wanted to highlight someone in terms of um, he scored the third goal and he's a guy I talk about quite regularly. And that's Josh Ajala. He has been in absolute banging form this. He's been banging form this, this season. He um, he scored his, that goal against Leicester was his 14th goal this season. Um, he signed a pro contract early this season um, and it He's really, really becoming a bit of a focal point at the academy. There's certain players who sort of people are resting their sort of hopes on. You know, Callum Marshall, I think Junior Robinson's one of them, obviously Lewis Orford, George Earthy. But from the 18s coming forward, you know, someone like Josh is someone who's getting a lot of game time for the 21s as well. And for him to get back, uh, I mean, 14 goals is a decent return for him, to, in all honesty. Um the under-18s continue their league campaign against Crystal Palace. Uh, they've got a couple of weeks left. I think it's Tuesday the 7th, I think the next game is. Um, so they like, randomly play at 12 o'clock kickoff on a Tuesday. Um, but uh, they've got a couple of weeks off as well. So I imagine you'll see a really strong side, really strong squad for that game on Saturday, on Friday uh, at home to Leicester City under-21s because we can, you know, they'll, they are still for your injuries. I don't know whether... Ollie was injured. Ollie Scars, I think, was out for a while. Patrick Kelly came back um, for the game against Notting against Norwich. So I think you see the likes of Josh on the bench, Dan Rigg on the bench, people like that. Yeah, some the, the the best ones, so to speak. Um, they'll be played and uh, at least in the squad. So get down to Dagenham, uh, Dagenham Redbridge, Get down to Rush Green on Friday. As I said, it's only going to cost you a fiver. No, not even that. I think it's like three quid. It's three quid for an adult, one quid for a kid. I think it's free for your season to get older and there is parking and there is a little tea stand as well what more can you ask and it, and it's nice now because it's friday and it's like the sun ain't gone down either so it's really really nice but anyway make sure you get make your way down there and support the boys for their last um regular fixture then we go into the sort of knockout playoff things to determine who wins all the stuff basically um and that's it my friends um i hope you have a great rest of the evening uh or more of the day if you're from the uh, the us that side or good morning um <laughs> if you're the other side but until then take care stay safe stay warm stay humble keep the faith 
and come on, you bloody, bloody irons. Irons. <laughs>